Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how to fit handbrake pads to the back of a Subaru Impreza Turbo. This is on a 98 Turbo wagon, but the same should apply to all GC8 and GF8 models. First thing we're going to do is break our wheel nuts with a breaker bar. This is in case our gun can't take them off. Of course, we're going to do the same on the other side as well. Next, we're going to go into the shed and grab our jack. This is going to be placed under the diff to lift both sides at the same time. Next, we're going to go to the shed and grab our axle stands. Unfortunately, I only have these cheapy ones at the minute, but it's still better than going in with just a jack. If you go without access stands, there's a pretty good chance you might get dead. Now you're going to place these under a solid place under the car. And then slowly let down your jack so the car is sitting on the axle stands. Now it's time to get our gun and take off the wheel nuts now that the car is in the air. This should be easy as we already broke them off with the breaker bar. And again, same for the other side. Now we're going to get a ratchet and what I believe to have been a 14mm bolt out from the side. Please try not to hurt yourself like I just did. That really, really hurt. But, it worked, so, you know, hey, there's one bolt out, so there you go. This time though, gonna do the right thing and get a hammer, and yeah, if you don't have a drawer full of hammers, you don't have a real garage. So we're gonna give that a tap, there we go, and that means, you know, you don't hurt your knee. So that's the proper way to do it. Now, remove your caliper. and start to pull off your disc. There should be a bit of resistance if it's any good. As you can see here, these are your handbrake pads. These are what we're gonna be removing. And again, same on this side. And off comes the caliper. And now comes the disc. You can see just how easy this was to get off because, well, as you can see, there are no handbrake pads on this side. This is where our problem lies. Out come the new ones and ready to go on. Now we're gonna remove these little container thingies that hold on this spring. There are two, one on the left and one on the right. Use a pair of pliers or similar and twist and pull. Next, we're gonna remove the springs from the top we used a flathead screwdriver. And off come your handbrake pads. Remove the following spring on this side. And then begin to reassemble, but with your nice shiny new handbrake pads. And refitting is the reverse of removal.
This time we're starting with the springs at the top. First the left one and then the right one. This handy little trick with a flathead screwdriver makes it quite a bit easier to get them on. Then you're going to put on the other spring, again following the same trick. Then finally put on the spring, the container clip, push and twist, do the same on the other side and away you go. This will take a bit of fiddling but you will get it eventually. Next we're going to adjust our handbrake using the little lever below. You can get to this from the back but it's much easier to do it now at the front. Test fit your disc to see how much resistance there is. There should be a bit of pull but not too much. As you can see this is very very tight so we took it off again and readjusted. We actually loosened it here which you can see the fact that we're going the other way. So, on goes the disc again, and we're much happier this time. Hello cat. And there you have it. All you have to do now is reassemble. So as you can see here, this is our old pad compared to our new pad. If you look at the nice new pad, you'll see a layer on top, which is not here on the old one. The old one had deteriorated with age, it hadn't wore through, it had actually popped off, surprisingly. So, definitely worth replacing. So, we have it running, and as you can see, that that's full on, which is, it used to come all the way up to here. So that's a hell of a difference. So, let's see how little it takes to get it to stop. Oh, instant. Awesome. Yeah, that is superb. Yeah, spot on. So that's it all done. Handbrake's good and tight, working perfectly. And now we will be able to park on a hill without rolling backwards. So thanks for watching this very, very quick video on how to do this. Uh, if you enjoyed this, check me out on Instagram, tomo.patterson, and be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.